Hey, I'm Jeremy, and on this tutorial for the Photoshop, we're going to look at how to create an iPod ad. So, our final output will look something like this. Okay, so I'm just going to show all those, do all those layers. And here I have a um, Star Fox character extracted and a simple background, just a paint bucket, and choose this color right here. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, make this uh, wolf, well actually this fox, um, black. So just click and drag it here to duplicate the layer. Let's rename this fox black. And just go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. And move the lightness to negative 100 so it's completely black. Now shut this layer off and create a new layer and rename it oops rename it iPod now take your run rectangle tool and uh, click on this uh, first icon here, shape layers the radius has to be 3 pixels and color it white with no styles and just draw a rectangle here Looks like an eye, but there we go. Now what we need to do is duplicate this layer. So click, drag it to this little icon to duplicate the layer. And what we need to do is uh, double click on this little uh, icon here, this little vignette, and just uh, drag to a uh, light gray. And now, with this layer selected, the iPod copy, just Press Ctrl T, have the free transform, and resize it about 50%. You can see here for 50%. And the width has to be 90, just coming up to 97%, and move it down about 1 2 pixels. And here we go, let's go iPod. And we need to put those two layers in, it has to be um, rasterized. So click and rasterize layers. So shift, click, click and shift. Select both them. And uh, take this first layer, the iPod copy. So let me just move it here. iPod copy. And press Ctrl E to merge the layer with the next one down. So we have a simple iPod. Now take the move tool and move it over here. Uh, Ctrl T to free transform and rotate it. And try to match the rotation of this. So it's good. And transform and uh, resize it down. Move it over. Oops. So move it over. Using the arrow tools here. Arrow keys and and press OK. Now we put our fox black black back on looks like this. Now we need to have the headphones. So show it off. Put a new new layer. We name it headphones. Take your pen tool right here and put it to path. So click on this icon here and uh, zoom in just a bit. And click right here in the middle of the iPod. Click here, click down to simulate like a the cord, the headphone. And click here, click and drag to uh, make curves. Click up here. And just gonna move it over a bit. There you go. And click here. And just skip. Okay, now I'll take your brush tool and set it to 1 pixel and mode normal opacity 100 for 100 and set it to white and then what we need to do is take your pencil back right click and select stroke path and take, take the brush click on ok now right click and select delete path so let's go. and now on the same layer headphones just click here and just gonna put the other one and right click
click, stroke pad. There you go. Right click, delete pad. So here now if we go fox black, it's almost done. And we have a nice icon. Now we need to do is uh, make uh, the separation here and go uh, headphones. Here. So zoom in, take your brush tool and make this uh, bigger here. Here too. And up there, just change this brush as you've got three pixels. Okay. It so looks somewhat like a headphone, so just do this for both ears. And now, if we zoom out, have a nice uh, guy. Now we get what we need to do is uh, just put the text, text tool, uh, whatever size you want, and I choose to be Myriad uh, Pro, and just I Firefox. Okay. It's white. Okay, so here we go. You have a nice little wallpaper uh, icon with a soft box. And here we go. The back, black. And uh, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time on some more tutorial for the products. And um, see ya.